All right, Math 8, this is your Tuesday homework help. Um, we are doing translation. If you remember, there are four different types of transformations. Remember, the four different types of transformations is translation. Um, translation is to slide. Oops, that's where it is. Okay, remember, rotation is to turn. Uh, reflection is to flip. You're flipping over the X or the Y axis in this particular course, but it is to flip. It's going to flip over a line of reflection. And dilation is to get bigger or smaller by scale factor. And remember, the letter for scale factor is K. Okay, by scale factor, K. All right, in this particular problem here, the first one says translate. That means to slide. So how are we going to slide? We're going to slide this triangle nine units to the left. To the left is this way. So you're going to take each one of these coordinate planes and, I mean, each one of these, but each one of these coordinates and slide it nine places to the left. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is A prime. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is B prime. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is C prime. Okay, so we did that, and now we are going to reflect it. That means to flip. Now we're going to flip it over the x-axis. This is the x-axis here. Okay, so we're going to flip it over the x-axis. So everything that's above the x-axis is going to be below, and everything that's below the x-axis is going to be above. So let's start with A. A is 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven above. So it's going to be when you flip it over the line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's going to be seven below. So this is A prime prime because it's the second time that A has moved. B is one above. So B is going to be one below. This is B prime prime, second time that B has moved. C is one below, so C is going to be one above. And it's C prime prime because this is the second time C has moved. So this is your new location after both transformations. And remember, these are the four different types of transformations. Okay? All right, let's look. And you should be able to do this one. Remember, when you have a scale factor of 2, that means you're going to take the points and you're going to multiply both the X and the Y by 2. Okay? All right. So, let me see. What's that one? Okay. So, you should be able to do this one. This says find the coordinates after you flip it across the X and dilate it at a scale factor. Okay. So, when you flip something across the X axis, all right, so look, the X is going to stay the same, but the Y is going to be different. And I can graph this. Let's do, let's just graph it up here to see. Let's graph 7, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so if I flip it across the X, the X is going to stay the same. But what's going to be different is now it's going to be 5 down. So my new ordered pair is going to be or this, my new order pair, is going to be 7, comma, negative 5, because now it's going to be 5 below, okay? All right, let um, me erase this. I'm just, I just did that just to show. Now it says dilated. So we're dilated at scale factor of 3, so that means K is equal to 3. So in order to find the new point, you're going to multiply both the X and the Y by 3, okay? So we got 
seven, we got seven times three, and we got negative five times three, okay? You're gonna multiply the scale factor times both of these. So my ordered pair is gonna be 21 comma negative 15. This is going to be my new ordered pair, okay? All right, um, we're rotating. Remember when you do a rotation, you're either gonna rotate clockwise. Clockwise is to the right. Or you're going to do CCW counterclockwise is to the left. Okay, turn it to the left. Remember uh, the number of times that you turn it, 90 degrees is going to be one turn. 180 degrees is two turns. And 270 is three turns. Now, if it says a 360, um, then that is four turns, but it's going to look like it didn't even move. Okay, so I'm not even writing that one down. All right, you rarely see where they tell you to do a 360 because it's going to land in that same place. Okay, all right, so let's look at this one. Reflect, um, we're going to reflect it first across the Y. This is the Y axis right here. So we're going to flip it over here. Okay, so let's flip it. So we got G is two away from the y-axis, so it's going to be two away when you flip it. This is G prime. H is one, two, three, four, five, six away from the line of reflection. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is H prime. J is one, two, three away from the line of reflection. One, so it's one, two, three on this side. And connect. All right, so now we're going to do counterclockwise. That's to the left. And it's 90 degrees. That's one turn. So we're doing one turn to the left. That's this way. So we're turning it to the left one time. Looking at this one, okay? So that means... Turn it this way. This is my new, this is my new X. This is my new Y. Okay. So since this is my new X, left, right, first, we're going to do G. G is negative one, two, three, four, five, negative six. I'm going to write that out. Negative six, comma, up, uh, down, one, two. Negative six, negative two. That's G. Okay. Uh, H is negative one, two. That's negative two. This is H. Negative two, comma, go down, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, H is right here, I'm sorry. Negative one, Ms. Reyes. Sometimes you mess up, y'all. Left one, then go down, one, two, three, four, five, six, negative six. And J, zero, oh, right here at the origin, you didn't go to the left or to the right. And down one, two, three. So J, and this is J, this is prime prime because it's the second move, right? Zero, one, two, negative three. Okay. All right. So let's turn it and let's graph these order pairs. So let's graph G first at negative six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and down one, two. This is G prime, prime, H, negative one, negative one is to the left one, and down six, one, two, three, four, five, six, this is H, prime, prime, second time, H has moved, then zero, negative three, zero here, then down one, two, and three, this is J, prime, prime, second time, J has moved, this is the second transformation, okay, all right, and there you have it. All right, so you're going to do the other the same way, okay? So see if you can do this multiple transformations, okay? All right, y'all. Have a good one. Bye.